Um, welcome back to my channel. Today is one of those days where I'm going to be kind of going over everything that I'm using currently and it's kind of basically makeup changeover day. Um, so I'm going to take you along with me and go through the stuff I'm using, stuff I am had been using, and then the stuff that I will um, kind of switch these out for. Um, so first of all, um, what my usual beauty routine is, I go from this drawer and then I go into the next one. So basically I have two of these sugar petal, uh, sorry, fresh sugar tinted lip treatments, um, as you can see here. And these are really great. I use these to kind of basically moisturize uh, in the morning while I do my other makeup. And so this is... I'm gonna keep this in here. So this is a, uh, another one that's not colored, so it's clear. I'm gonna keep it in here for the next round of when I run out of this one. Um, and next off, we're gonna kind of, so I've got basically my base product. This is actually what I actually threw in recently. Uh, this is the uh, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Stick. I'm gonna leave this in here. It's more of a summer foundation for me where I want less coverage or if I'm like out and about and not doing much over the weekend uh, which is a good time for quarantine makeup because you know if I don't really want to put on a full face most of the time and then and then I have the Glossier uh, stretch concealer that I have been using I think I may switch this out for um, something, what is that called? A Maybelline Age Rewind. Um, so I'll go grab that. I'm gonna put this out here. So this is the Dior Coral, Dior Addict Lip Glow. Um, it's kind of a weird color. I thought this would be a nice coral color, but that's actually like a really bright pink. So I kind of wear it, you know, if I have no makeup on, I just put on a lip and some eyeliner and then go out for groceries or something. So this is pretty easy, but I don't love the color. I may try the rosewood one that they have when I there's another Sephora sale, but I love the packaging. It's just such a beautifully made product. And you can see it's orange, but like when it's on my lips, it's just very pink. And then I have got this concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me, which I actually really like a lot for um, spot concealing. So I use this. I'm actually going to keep this in here. Then I've got a couple of highlighters. This is the Flower Beauty Day Glow Highlighting Glaze in, what is this called, Stunner? This is a nice creamy product, very shiny, very glossy, but I think it's time to switch out for something new. It's been a while. I'm gonna put this out here. And then this is the Essence Pure Nude, which I love a lot as well, but I've been using this quite a bit recently as well, so I'm gonna switch out for a new highlighter. As well and that's gonna go there and a couple cheek products I've got the Chantecaille cheek gelée hydrating gel cream and happy which is I recently got it's really really good um, I can be pretty heavy-handed with it and it'll still look really nice it does get a little patchy when I try to put highlighter on so I try to do the powder highlighter instead of a cream highlighter on top of this so that it doesn't break up um, and then I've got the Ilia Multi Stick and I put a spell on you, which is this gorgeous summery color. I do have some other ones of this kind of color as well. I do love this formula and I think they did change the packaging. So this is kind of the old packaging, but this is going to go back in the pile. I'm going to go grab another, a couple other blushes beyond this. And then I've got a lot of blushes in here. This is the Powder Blush Flower Beauty Flower Pot in Sweet Pea. This is a really nice blush, um, so easy for work, but I think I'm going to try a different powder blush for the next few weeks. This is going out as well. Um, and then I have the Flower Blush Balm in Pinched. This is also one of those kind of like the Chantecaille one where it's I can put a lot on and not F it up. So um, I really enjoy this one, but not quite the right color for winter, summertime. I'm going to go for something a little brighter, so this is also going to go back. And then I've got a couple items. So sometimes I like to set my under eyes if I'm using a liquid liner that kind of smudges on me. So I'm gonna keep this Laura Mercier 
secret brightening powder um, in here because it makes a pretty good setting powder for under my eyes. Um, got a couple of these eyeliners. Um, I forgot another one on the other side here in a bit. I'm gonna get there. Uh, these kind of... I've been on and off using these, but they tend to smudge under my eye because my eyelids are pretty oily. Um, especially if I've got like cream products under my eye or like uh, things like that. So this is the NYX Epic Ink Liner and this is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. So both of these work really well. They're really nice. Uh, brush tip eyeliners, but they just smudge on me for some reason. So I keep them in here to like slowly work on them So I'm gonna just keep them in here anyways and then mascara which I never use but people talk about this being a really good one Which I've used before It's the essence of volume stylus 18 hour lash extension one So I'm gonna keep this in here. Just maybe one day I will feel like using it. So that's the drawer number one so I've got uh, some fun stuff in here, uh, mostly got kind of a row of eyeshadows here, singles. So this is the uh, Super Shock Shadow in Cricut, um, which is this beautiful dark purple um, glitter shade. Um, I really, really like it. Um, so it's kind of a cool tone. I really enjoy this. I'm gonna keep this in here. The formula is a lot nicer. It's actually very similar to this other one called the uh, Chantecaille Mermaid Eye Color in Hematite. They're very similar. Uh, this one may be a little pinker than this one. So I'm actually gonna put this away and maybe save it for another day. This is actually just pretty unimpressive for me. It actually feels like not... I'm a big texture person and this just feels like a not a cream shadow but more a uh, powder shadow that's very soft. So these are the two next to each other. As you can see, they're very, very similar. A slightly pink shift on, on the um, on the Shantakai one. So this is going to kind of go back in the main storage area. Um, next we have this other ColourPop one called the Prickly Pear Super Shock Shadow, um, which I got recently as well. It's very nice. It's kind of this pinky um, color with a lot of glitter actually. The glitter is kind of annoying but it's not that big a deal. It's a little bit of a, a cool pink I would say. So this is a nice one shadow look but I'm gonna give this a break. I've been using it quite a bit as you can see the dent in there. So I'm gonna put this away as well. Excuse my fingers. Uh, it's got two little wounds here from <laughs> I was grating some cheese and actually grated my hand accidentally. That was not pleasant. Anyways, moving on. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in High Roller. This is a super nice one. I absolutely love this one. This is the uh, kind of a bronzy color, as you can see. A cool bronze. Um, looks really nice on the eye. Um, does it accentuate texture a little bit on the eyelids, like if you have wrinkles and stuff? Um, but it's for me it's not as big an issue at this age um, so I like this a lot but I'm gonna give this a break I've been using it a lot too uh, I have some other ones upstairs that I'm gonna switch these out for and then I've got the Stila shimmer and glow uh, kind of liquid eyeshadow in Jezebel it's, it's more of a metallic pink color uh, a pink champagne so look at how reflective that is. It's like really, really nice. So it dries down well. It's uh, you can talk. I talk about it in my kind of single eyeshadow video that I've got. So you guys can check that out. Um, so I'm gonna keep those two eyeshadows in here, and then I have got this hourglass palette. Um, it's definitely. I try to use it, but I always forget that it's in here, so I may put it on the other one when I'm doing blush and stuff, So because the blushes are really nice. The powders, I, I've been trying to get into bronzer, so I'm, this is like the only bronzer color that I have, so I'm going to try to use it a little bit more in the summertime. And then this highlighter is actually really, really beautiful. I'm going to just swatch it real quick here. So, let's see. It's a... Uh, very high shine. I know it's a little hard to tell. I'm like sitting against a window here, but um, it's really beautiful on the face. Gives a nice wet look to the face. Um, so I'm gonna keep this palette in here. I don't have a lot of face palettes, but yeah. Oops. Okay. 
So I've got this mini trial size of the Hourglass Vanish Champagne Flash Highlighter. Um, it's actually really nice. I just always forget it's in here because it's so tiny, but I'm gonna keep this in here. I'm actually gonna throw it on this other side here. I put the highlighters. And then the lip products, uh, actually let's do eyebrows and eyeliner. So the eyeliner that I have is the, that I like the most is the ColourPop one in a liquid liner, which is a felt tip one in numero uno, which is just a simple black color. Uh, this one is really good because it doesn't smudge on me. It kind of, rather than smudging off, it kind of flakes off, which bothers me less because it like I can like use my finger to get it off um, if it's like under my eye or something. But if it smudges, it's kind of like if I use my finger, it's gonna go all over the place. So this is uh, the ColourPop one. I'm gonna keep this in here because I use this every day. And then this is the Anastasia by Real Hills Brow Definer, which is my only brow product ever. I know um, it's got this like tip like this in here. It's really good. I enjoy this a lot. Um, just so easy to swipe on. My eyebrows are pretty full to begin with, so I don't really need a lot of help. So this just kind of fills in the tail of my eyebrow and that's about it. And the eye products, or lip products, I have a lot of. Um, this, I think I have to force myself to retire because I've been using this literally every single day in the past however many weeks I've had this in here. This is the Lip Crayon um, from ColourPop Just to Tint in Z-Boys. Uh, it's really good. It's a perfect color for me. I just need to do use some other lip products, basically. So I'm gonna put this away to force myself to use something else. This other one is called Sadio Stars. It's a little bit too reddish pink for me. Um, maybe a better color in the fall time when I'm feeling a little more like saturated colors. I'm gonna put this away as well. And then I have got this one I recently put in here. This is the Cushion Tint Hang by Peri Para, which is like kind of a, a Korean brand I got from Walgreens, I believe. It's got this kind of cushiony um, product distributor. Uh, it's a really nice corally pink color, so I'm going to keep this in here for summertime. Uh, this other one called Razor is a good color that I could probably use um, as a kind of work lipstick color. Uh, it's really nice as well. Very, it's a more muted coral uh, pink color, so I'm going to put that in there. Yes, yeah, so it's really, really cute color. Um, very creamy formula. I've had this for a long time and maybe time to trade in for a new one. I'm not even sure if this color is available anymore, but uh, I'm gonna finish using this up. I'm gonna leave this in here. This Lancome one, I haven't used a lot, but I really like the formula. This is the Lancome Lapsolute Lacquer in the shade 236. Um, it's kind of just this muted color. I like to use this in the fall, but it's also like a nice gloss slash lip stain formula. Um, so I'm gonna keep this in here, hoping that I will use it. This is a blotted lip and drip, which is kind of a purpley mauve color. Um, I may trade it in for the other one of these that I have. I'm gonna put this away, actually. I haven't used it, it's a little too fall of a color. And then lastly, this is the a mini of Meringue, uh, which is actually, I have a bunch of these minis from like these trial size boxes that they have. And this is the Amuse Bouche, which I think they're reformulating or rebranding or something. But this one is the a really good color for me. So I'm gonna keep this in here. So I will use that. Um, hopefully now that I have that other ColourPop just to tint one out of here, I will use some of these other ones more frequently. So I will be back. Um, I'm going to take you guys upstairs. Should I take you guys upstairs? No, I'm just going to bring the stuff that I have. Well, all right, friends. Uh, so welcome back. I decided not to take you guys upstairs because it's kind of a mess up there. It's not great lighting, so it's going to be kind of hard to see what was in my kind of major, my little tower thing that I used to keep um, all of my products. So first of all, let's go start with foundation. This thing I picked out, um, I picked out a couple, so I know it's summertime, but so like I said before, I have this Bare Minerals uh, foundation stick that I really enjoy for the summertime, but it's been really weirdly um, 
streaky on my face because um, I use a brush to blend it out and maybe my brush brush needs a washing so I'm gonna keep this in here but there's a, I actually have a little container onto the side here that I like to keep my foundation so I'm gonna stick this over in this box there and then I also have this Mamond which is a Korean brand uh, water cushion thing um, foundation so I it's almost dried out I have like a backup version of this I'm gonna finish using this up and then throw out this uh, kind of the sky and then refill it with a new one uh, this one is actually pretty high coverage is a little too pale for me sometimes but I like to use it as like a color corrector brightening under the eye situation um, it does sometimes accentuate my pores so I'm gonna have to like really moisturize for this but I really want to finish using up this uh, filler that's in there and then just replace it when I want to use it again so I'm gonna keep this in here because it's like an awkward shape I really love this compact it's just so beautiful and clean uh, as is with a lot of Korean makeup so anyways that's that and then I have the pretty fresh hyaluronic tinted moisturizer I brought this up back upstairs initially to my storage area um, but I feel like the bare mineral ones may not be enough this is also a good one for summertime just like a, since it's a tinted moisturizer so I'm gonna actually keep this um, by my side here for now uh, just to keep using it and I think I'm having the same issue with it where it's a little streaky with my brush so I'm gonna actually use it with this sponge that I have. This, this is the Real Techniques kind of sponge. This is unwet, so I'm gonna wash this out and then see how it goes. I'm gonna put this kind of over here. All right. Um, next what we have, we have blush. Uh, yeah, let's do blush. So I have a couple blushes that I want to talk about. So first of all, I'm bringing out the summertime blushes. This is the Nude Sticks uh, Nudies Bloom in Tiger Lily Queen, which is this very bright color. Oh, that's the brush side, I always forget. Um, very bright coral color. So I'm excited a bit to use this in the summertime and the kind of springtime. Put that there. And then there's the Manali, Manal, Milani Baked Blush um, in Luminoso. Uh, I've talked about this before being a little bit annoying in terms of how yellow it looks on my skin, so I'm going to give this another try. And if I don't like it, I may pass it along and get rid of it. Uh, and then the last powder blush I have is the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Blush and Party, which is actually a really nice color. I'm going back, like, back at work, obviously. Um, I've been at work, so this is a nice work color. I'm going to keep this in here because it's easy to put on. Um, and then highlighter wise, I have got three as well. I've got the um, Hollywood Light Wand in um, Spotlight, which is that kind of original champagne-y color. This is actually really beautiful. It gives the skin a really nice uh, glossy color, uh, glossy finish. Uh, it stays on super well. I always end up like checking myself in the mirror uh, on the way home uh, from work and it's always there. So this is really, Star product, uh, just very expensive, but let's keep using it. This is the Glossier, uh, what's it called? Halo Scope uh, in quartz that I have. I've had this for a while. I'm gonna keep using it. It's a nice summertime glossy, or like just a, a slight sheen kind of product. It's a little sticky, but I like that for the summer. And then the last one I've got here is the Pixie by Petra Powder Highlighter Duo and Glowy Gossamer in Delicate Dew. Um, this is just a kilowatt level highlighter. This is like super bright. So I'm going to keep this in here because I enjoy having a little brightness in my life. So we go from the least blinding to the most blinding and this is somewhere in between. And then I have my concealer here, which is the, like I said, the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline, which I really like for correction of dark circles. So I'm going to keep this in here. I'm actually going to move this because I don't reuse it. This one as well. It's a little bit crowded in here, but that's okay. All right, so this is that drawer. Let's move you over to this other drawer. So I've got the lip products that I, you know, was using before. It's still quite a bit of them. There's like four of them here, but 
I have a couple more to show you. This is that same blotted lip color pop one in um, so this is in a brighter color. It's like more of a reddish orange for summertime that I really enjoy. Uh, so this is a pretty good one. I'm gonna keep this in here. And then, oh, I'm gonna put it with the lips. And then this is Dolly, uh, the Buxom lip plumping lip glosses. I got this like I don't know why I chose to get a full size, but this is like huge, and I'm never gonna finish it. But I'm gonna attempt to do some damage on this um, in the next few weeks. And then lastly, this is a Bite lipstick that's been out for many years. I got this when I think I was in Chicago, maybe like six years ago. Like, I know that's kind of gross, but <laughs> well, no, this is like maybe five years ago. So this is in the color Cafe. This is their kind of original lip matte lip, cray lip crayon formula, uh, which actually still exists, I believe, um, in the color Cafe. Um, and it's this gorgeous, like, very bright pink, but it's surprisingly flattering for my skin tone. It's like a little bit cooler, but I usually don't like cooler lipsticks, but this, this is great. I um, wore this on my match day for into residency, and I have pictures from that day that I still look on. I'm like, wow, I was so young, and also my lips look great. So I'm going to keep this in here for a day when I want to reminisce about, you know, when I was so young and less wrinkly so <laughs> anyways so I've got next eyeshadow wise I've got the hourglass um, scattered light glitter eyeshadow in smoke this is the only color I own I have been thinking about getting more of these because they're actually just really amazing um, it's this kind of pressed down glitter creaminess that's really wonderful uh, I, I like wearing this in the winter time and the holidays, but this is also a nice like taupey color to wear in the summer too, like if I just want to glitz it up a little bit. So I'll keep this in here. I think I might buy another one in the color Ray or Aura. Ray is kind of like a darker champagne and then Aura is like a pink color. So, And then this next one I've got the Charlotte Tilbury um, Ice to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadow. Uh, just to replace the couple that I put away there. Uh, this is Mona Lisa, which is like a darker shade that I rarely use, but I actually saw someone use it um, recently on YouTube in a more, um, how do you to call it, like a diffused way where it's not so concentrated. They use their brush to blend it out. It actually was really beautiful, so I'm going to try that. As you can see, it's like this deep chocolatey, it's got a hint of purple too, and it's just so moussey and such a wonderful formula. Um, that I really should take advantage of having it. So I just paid for it myself, so why not? Um, as you can see, it's very pigmented, very dark. Um, so it's gonna be a little tough to blend out, but it's got so much dimension. It's got like a slight sheen to it. Um, it's a beautiful brown, bronzy um, chocolate color. So keep that in here. I've got some other bits and ends in here. I've got like my moisturizer, um, got the Kiehl's facial moisturizer, and then I have the uh, Ultra Repair Cream, which I just use anywhere whenever I want to since I have my daily makeup area downstairs, which is also my like work desk. Um, I just like having this around to moisturize my hands, moisturize my elbows. Uh, and sometimes in the morning I use this on my face as well. This is just like the best cream ever and it doesn't irritate my skin. And then I have some Mario Badescu skincare uh, white sage aloe and orange blossom. Uh, I have a couple other scents upstairs uh, that I have in storage that I'll eventually use. But And then lastly, but not leastly, I just got this. This is the Laneige um, Glowy Makeup Serum. And it's kind of like a serum slash primer situation. I've used it for a couple days. Uh, I think it does hold on to makeup for me. Uh, I used this with the Bare Minerals um, stick foundation that I had just showed you and it actually stayed on really well when I was taking off my makeup. Usually by the end of the day, the, the 
foundation is mostly gone and I don't end up having to take off any pigment with my makeup remover on the wipe but with this on actually there was still quite a bit on my face so either that day I was not touching my face as much or um, this is actually working so I'm gonna I'm excited to use this more also how cute is this bottle and that is it so thank you guys for watching this is uh, all of my makeup drawers for the next couple two to three weeks I believe um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you guys are searching out your makeup for, um, and we'll see you next time.